Hello my darlings and welcome to my spell candle series. Today I'm going to create a cleansing spell candle. Use this candle to cleanse and protect a sacred space. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a candle magic series. I create 12 different spell candles and talk about the magical properties of the ingredients in each one. I'll link to a playlist for the series below. I will also link to all of the materials I use to make this spell candle below the video. Spell candles are used in all kinds of magic and ritual. They're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, root work and folk practices. You can add oils, herbs, crystals, colors, or symbols as you craft your candles to align with your magical goals. Most importantly, as you create your candle, infuse it with your intention. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your candle, chant or speak words while creating it, or invoke a deity or pray over it. I begin by weighing out my wax. I'm using flakes of soy wax and I'm measuring out four ounces. This amount of wax will nicely fill my five ounce glass jar. Jar sizes are based on volume and candle wax is measured by weight. A five ounce jar will hold four ounces of wax based on weight. You can check online for the amount of wax that you'll need for the container you've chosen for your candle. I've created a book of shadows page for this spell candle recipe. If you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I'm melting the wax over a very low heat. As you make your candle, melt your wax slowly over a low heat and do not boil or burn your wax. If you see any smoke, your wax is burning. Turn the heat down. Another option is to use a double boiler setup. As you wait for the wax to melt, this is the perfect time to add your energy and intention as you stir the liquid. When making your own cleansing spell candle, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand that provide the effects that you want in your candle. You don't have to include all of the ingredients I show in this video. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. Once the wax is completely melted, it's time to add the ingredients you want inside your candle. Make sure to turn the heat off before adding anything to the wax. You may wish to add an essential oil or a perfume oil to scent your candle. This is an optional step as many people like to leave their candles unscented for many reasons, including potential allergies. I'm using frankincense essential oil. Frankincense has been burned as offerings and spiritual rituals since ancient times. Today, frankincense is associated with purification. Burn the resin to cleanse a sacred space or use the essential oils to anoint an area that needs to be purified. At this point, I would usually add a colorant to the wax. However, I would like this candle to remain white. White is the color of blessing, cleansing, and purification. It also represents peace. I'm adding some crystal white glitter into the wax instead of dye. I will also be adding three herbs into the wax and two of them can be found in the Holy Santo herb kit. I have an unboxing video for the entire kit and a discount code that I'll link in the description below. The first ingredient is sage. 
This is the common sage that is used for cooking. You can likely find sage in your grocery store spice aisle. Sage is associated with wisdom and knowledge and is often used to cleanse a space. Sage is considered to be a sacred plant by many cultures and is used for spiritual healing and to remove negative energy from a person or space. And the second herb is hyssop. Hyssop is the most widely used herb in magic for purification. It's used for breaking curses, removing bad luck, and clearing negative energy. It can be used for aura cleansing and to consecrate magical tools. The third plant is cedar tips. Cedar drives out negative energy and brings in good influences. When burned, cedar acts as a purifier, cleansing the area. It's particularly great for cleansing and creating sacred space. The cedar tree is associated with longevity and protection. I want to make sure that these herbs are ground up very finely to almost a powdery consistency before adding them to the wax, so I'm using a spice grinder. Always make sure that when you're adding ingredients, they'll be fire safe. I make sure to grind them very finely before adding them. This way they'll incorporate into the wax and not produce a large clump or chunk that might catch on fire or burn unpleasantly. Next, it's time to pour the wax into the container you're using to hold your candle. Ensure that you're using a fire safe container and never use plastic or anything flammable. I've chosen a jar that has a wide opening so that I can add my ingredients to the top of the candle artfully to make it aesthetically pleasing. It's easy to fill and not likely to tip over when lit for fire safety. I'm putting a small piece of removable mounting putty on the bottom of my candle wick to stick it to the jar. I'm using this wick holder that came with my candle making kit. Clamping the wick into this device will ensure it's centered in the jar and create a straight up and down wick that will not droop. You can also tie the wick to a chopstick or skewer or use a clothespin to hold the wick. Whatever you have at home that works with your container. Then slowly and carefully pour the wax in and scoop in any of the ingredients that have settled to the bottom. Leave your candle to cool and for the wax to firm up. The wax in my five ounce candle becomes somewhat firm in about one hour. The amount of time will vary depending on the size of your candle. Smaller candles will cool more quickly. Once the wax is cooled, you can add ingredients to the top of the candle. I like to use a heat tool to melt a little bit of the surface wax to adhere glitter and gemstones to the top. I love to add glitter to all of my crafts. I decided to use more of the crystal white glitter on the top of this candle. I'm adding clear quartz gemstones to the top of the candle. Often used for removing negativity, this stone also enhances and magnifies the power of other stones around it. I'm also adding frankincense to the top of the candle. Usually I'd put any flammable material around the edges away from the flame. However, this is a resin, and if it warms up or catches on fire, it will smell really good. A candle created magically in your sacred space and with great intention can bring extra power and purpose to your magic. There are many ways to use your spell candle. It's perfect to burn before or during any ritual or spell work to cleanse your sacred space. Use this candle and magical workings to bless, cleanse, or protect yourself or your home. 
or burn it when you feel heavy energy collecting in a room to cleanse and clear the space. You can also use this candle in workings for changing bad luck, unhexing, or unjinxing. Focus energy towards visualizing your goal happening as you light your candle and as it burns. When the candle has completely burned through, you may wish to remove the gemstones, which are now infused with the energy of your intention. Keep them and use them in further magical workings or give them back to the earth. Always practice fire safety when burning any candles. I've left some important fire safety tips below the video.